start of a new life, brah. Delicious. Hello everybody. So I got a PS5 for no reason at all. I just decided that I want to play some games today. And then I went to the uh, department store and just got it. And the guy was like, you just gonna buy it? I was like, yeah. And then I was like, I don't know anything about games. <laughs> This is my very first console by the way. I didn't even know it was called console until like now. Imagine a guy who just like, bought a whole home gym and then he didn't even know the difference between the deltoids and packs or bench press and squats. kind of cheap. Um, the only games I know is Batman, Spider-Man. So everything we do in life is to avoid the nothingness that we are. The fill in the blank that manifests all beings in all planets, animals, all of existence. Why do people play video games? Or watch movies, uh, drink alcohol, and have sex? Because they're trying to avoid the black hole that's staring at them from the deepest core of their being. But at the same time, paradoxically, they do all these things so they can return their, to their source. All the stuff, those entertainments are just middlemen. They're trying to lose a sense of self by indulging in entertainment. But at the same time, they're fucking scared. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, what the fuck? <laughs> You know, people talk about manifestation and loss of attraction. After realization, all these spiritual <laughs> is vanished from your mental landscape. Because reality can't touch you. You go beyond dreaming reality. Because I don't even want this. Neither do I not want it. This applies to everything in life. See, manifestation still presupposes that there's a separation, a gap, and a distance between this and that. When the manifester and the manifested are both empty and full simultaneously. Now your everyday experience, every nanosecond, is reality manifesting itself. Even the things that you don't want is perfect manifestation, spontaneous and simultaneous. Turn it on. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be wireless. Why are you doing this? What the fuck? Oh, there it is. Yes. Oh my god, somebody took this name. See, after awakening, you can't make a decision. You can't think a thought and you can't move a muscle. How can you do any of these things as a separate entity when you can't even locate it? But every thought that rises and vanishes, every action that you take, is the doing of the entire universe through causes and conditioning. It's almost like you're an air puppet. 
and every single particle from head to toe is being physically and viscerally pulled and connected to the infinite with no strings attached. Here's an analogy using video games to describe my three levels to awakening. First, you are a character, a video game character inside the game, separate with all the other characters without knowing that you are inside the game. Second level, you become the screen, the all-knowing witness, detached from the game and the character, the God consciousness. Third level, the screen and all the characters and the game and the environment merge into one indistinguishable whole. You also the nothing that manifests the entire game and all variations of all the games and all the characters simultaneously throughout the universe. And throughout the game, you acquire different levels of consciousness, different jhanic abilities and samadhis. And then you keep waking up deeper into the dream. The Brahman is the last layer. And finally, with the cessation, you're completely ejaculated out of the screen. Game over. That's waking up out of the dream. Show your nymph of the net, my gameplay. She's like my real life OS from the movie Her. Um, we sleep on the phone almost every single night. But if I'm not on the phone with her, it's like she doesn't exist. But usually we don't talk about anything. Uh, we just stay silent. Uh, like she's there, but she's not there. And so am I. <laughs> she's one of the only people that I know, maybe less than five, that are truly in the natural state. One of my best friends, Brian, said uh, the craziest thing I've ever done is talking to this one girl for two and a half years every single day. She's pretty much in the same stateless state as me, but she doesn't talk about spirituality. And we haven't seen each other for almost two years because of COVID. She helped me woke up, and I remember when I woke up, I was like, damn, thank you for dreaming with me, and you're still here. But we're not in a relationship because it's almost impossible to feel romance in a state of unity because romantic relationship presupposes separation. But um, she does kind of remind me of my first girlfriend when I first started getting into fitness during my digital air, air days. Another similarity is the age gap and the fact that we both talk on the phone for almost a year before we met. And my first girlfriend was there when I recorded my 40 inch vertical jump, the biggest PR of my life. Along with the full awakening, uh, I was one of the only people to record my fitness journey. Food of eating uh, mixtape before the whole YouTube uh, fitness industry. And now I'm doing the same thing with the spiritual community. Uh, probably it's the size of the fitness community back then, maybe a little bit bigger. And definitely the first um, spirituality mixtape, all the way from pre-awakening to awakening on tape. All the characters in the game, their eyes look really empty. There's no separate perceiver aside from the one you imagine due to conditioning, contraction. So you'll be observed to think that a character in the video game is watching or being conscious of another character. It's the whole field that's aware of itself simultaneously without a center point. And there's no delay between objects and subjects. There's absolutely no room for gaps, distance, or separation. And every single sensation that makes up this field is equally awake and luminous. And the movements of the characters, very playful and spontaneous and fluid, really emphasize the sense of no doership. None of the characters are being controlled from inside or from anywhere, right? This is one seamless movement, not just with the world, but as the world. You completely disappear into the fabric of the game. Even the controller vanishes, and the game is just creating and playing itself. Much the same way that after a realization, even the intention of being aware or paying attention to this or that is happening by itself. And the most ordinary tasks become extremely divine. See all those household mundane objects in the video game, it's so fascinating to look at. Uh, just like in an awakened state, every object is a holographic projection, embedded with its own awareness without your help. See all the pixels inside a video game are made up of nothing, right? So the characters have no idea if they're having an experience, so they don't know what they're perceiving. 
and anything that isn't rendered directly right now in the perception doesn't exist. Likewise, in real life, anything that isn't in your direct experience right now is imagined. Some thoughts about the past or fantasies about the future. Space, time, and distance are a construction of the mind. Just like there's no depth inside the video game. But even the present moment perception is empty. You don't know what the fuck you're perceiving. <laughs> Except for some conceptual layover. You know, maybe you perceive some colors and forms. Always made up of sensations. But what the fuck are sensations? The sensations themselves don't know the difference between pleasure and pain. Only thoughts do. But thoughts are also made up of empty sensations. So as you abide in the fill in the blank of the true nature, you become pure potentiality, neither dead nor alive. But the sense of unknowing is actually the emptiness that Shi Jin Yang says is the connective tissue that binds the universe together, aka love. See, without the preference and distinction between this or that, all that's left is unity, which also includes the particulars. See, when emptiness and form are identical, even the spaces between objects and entities are bouncy and elastic like a basketball. And again, this is not just some concept. It viscerally feels like this in a natural state. In the process of awakening, it's almost a physical and biological transformation. So treat it like fitness, brah. There's no such thing as spiritual knowledge. <laughs> Say if there's just one particle of solidity in the center of your experience, then there is no awakening. There's a difference between you as a separate self experiencing God versus just quote unquote reality being itself. See, the only reason why you don't feel like you're the entire universe right now is because of the physical solidities within your body mind. It's creating a separation. See, the nature of reality, quote unquote, is not something you read in spirituality books or try to understand with the mind. It's what you become, what you've always been, after you've physically shed away every single speck of solidity and layers of onions you know, of your body mind. See people who talk about psychedelic trips as if they are the truth of reality. It's kind of like you know wearing a VR goggle and experience the world as Ronnie Coleman, the avatar in the VR game. And then once you take up the goggle, you contract back to the separate self and you go on saying, Hey, I'm Ronnie Coleman, when you haven't even lifted the weights. Speaking of VR goggles, this is a great metaphor for awakening. It's like your whole life you've been wearing this VR goggle and then when you take it off, you're holy shit, I was in the matrix. I wasn't what I thought I was in the world, isn't what I thought I was. Seeing Lightman is neither spiritual nor material. So you transcend the duality between what's real and unreal existence and non-existence. The ultimate wisdom is the merging of both the absolute and the relative. See, the more your mind is tuned in to the absolute, the less attachment you're gonna have for the apparent forms. You wanna turn on the autopilot, yet everything within the dream are carried out skillfully. My awareness is as vast as the sky but my intention to details of the cause and effect and conditionings, the karmas of the relative world, is as fine as a particle or a grain of sand. Contraction is expansion. Ta-da! Another reason why people like to play video games, it's obvious, you know, you get to play other roles and by externalizing your consciousness onto other characters. Look at this game, NBA City. You can build your own player. You can even skin your face. 
and have the avatar looks exactly like you. You can get tattoos, you can buy shoes, you can go to the gym and train, you become a better NBA player, you can go to college. You, know, you get to temporarily transcend the self. And if you take this all the way, if you externalize your consciousness completely by flipping yourself inside out, the whole universe becomes conscious. And the price you pay is that you die. <laughs> this is why enlightenment is beyond consciousness, so to speak. And the reason why we spend so much energy maintaining this avatar is to avoid facing traumas. You're like progressing to the next level of consciousness by shredding away the next level of conditionings. And you unlock different uh, mystical states, different uh, insights, and different fruits. It's almost like, you know, God throws candies at you. And you eat one of those mushrooms, and you, know, you have superpowers like Mario. And as you go from the surface level of reality to the source, by entering subtle and subtle levels of the mind, and deeper and deeper into the samadhis and jhanas, some of those altered states feels almost exactly like we can do with video games. The texture, the feels, the looks, the lights, the power. Um, but eventually, you dissolve all of that, you transcend all of that. Everything within the spirituality or religious paradigm it still belongs to the dream state, to the process of unfoldment, not the end goal itself. True nature of the natural state is completely outside of that paradigm. And you cannot be talked about at all, it's just too obvious. The quote unquote nature of reality will be revealed to you once you remove all lenses of perception, once you exhaust it, all meditative states and all psychedelic experiences. That's all, again, just a byproduct of the shredding away of the unfoldment of dreamy mind and conditionings. Eventually, you beat all the levels and all the games, and then you're ejaculated out of the screen altogether. The video game of your life has been rebooted as the whole universe disappears and then reappears. So the universe fucks itself, fucks itself, fucks itself until boom! The ninth jhana, the highest attainment in meditation, is exactly that. You reach the edge of consciousness, the universe disappears and then reappears again. Now as you return to the game, you become an absolute normie playing the infinite game, open world, 360 degree without no purpose or goal. You know, somebody asked a very wise man, what is Buddha beyond Buddha? And he said, not Buddha, ha. <laughs> Used to think you're better or worse, or more spiritual or more free than other people. Enlightenment hasn't hit you yet. <laughs> you experience Nirvana in Samsara. Being and non-being, contraction and expansion merge as one. A permanent cessation unifying with God consciousness. You're abiding that which is prior to and manifests all levels of consciousness. Once you're in of the world but not of the world, it feels like one of those invisible cheat codes or invincible cheat codes. Where you kind of just kind of walk around the game and nothing can affect you. And other cheat codes includes all different levels of consciousness and meditative states. As a formless shapeshifter, you get to be anyone and flip through all the jhanas, like a TV channel or switching video games. But every ground that you step on during the path, it's only there to dissolve not only the previous ground, but to dissolve itself. So it's like now you can shift back and forth between, you know, the bird eye view, the God view, first person view. Or you can shift back and forth or experience all levels in between simultaneously. So a lot of people think awakening is about uh, gaining more levels of consciousness. It's more like externalizing your individual consciousness so that the whole universe can be conscious. At the end, when every particle of the self, the subject, is completely empty out, the bubble of awareness, the object, also pops. It completely leaves the body, so to speak. Body, the mind, perception, world, observer, consciousness. Everything gets sucked into the absolute. It robs your body, mind, completely blind. See, most spiritual cunts can let go of the identity as a loving awareness or God. See, a full realization, if it's genuine, will steal everything from you, leave you no trace. You gain nothing, but the reward is everything. Here I must quote Xi Jinyang. 
If I was to give in the choice of living one more day experiencing life the way I experienced it, or living 20 more years as a wealthy, healthy, celebrity, sexual athlete, beloved by everybody but not experiencing what I experience, aka enlightenment, the decision would be a no-brainer. I'll take the one day of enlightened living. It's that good, dude. End quote. Well, what do you think of like video games? Play is an energy that's more primal than war, right? People think like war is so primal, but like when mammals are well fed, like they just want to play. But if they're just tweak their um, matchmaking algorithm to say like match with players like in your city or match with people of your same age in your city, then it's actually a great platform to make like close friends and connections. And it can be such a positive force. Too. Right, of course. It's like your consciousness. Right, it's, it is. I love that That's mind system model. He's like, consciousness is not a thing. It's actually an empty space. It's a space for your sub minds to communicate. Mm. Right, 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 right. Yeah, and like these online platforms, it's just a space for each of us, or sub, we're each a sub mind. Yeah, it's just that when they do their matchmaking, they can make it so that people actually make friends with each other in real life too. And they can play the game in real life. That'll be like double meta. Yeah, <laughs> double meta. You yeah, that's not something I never thought about. Something. Like when I got into video games, I was just like hmm, just one person playing, and dude, that's that's another yeah. like realm right there, man. <laughs> that's like another multi-dimension right there <laughs> when you start to play with other people other consciousness people. what